Welcome to the Sub On Scoop. What's going on, Miss Kiki Vapes? How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I am doing wonderful. Thank you for asking. First off, I would like to, you know, thank you for being on the show. I really do appreciate it. And I know that your story will help to inspire other people to give vaping a try. So I like to start off every video with the most common question. What are you vaping on right now? Juices, mods, etc. I have the Snow Wolf X Fang with the Kensai with the smoothie inside of it. And then my Espeon Infinite with my Aquitus with the strawberry, or not the strawberry, Jesus, the Acai Original. Acai Original. Now, what flavors are those? It, um, the smoothie is strawberry, raspberry, apple, and then the Acai Original is a Acai smoothie with granola. It is granola. Yeah, I don't it's think I've so ever, good. I don't think I've ever tried any granola vapes. I might have, but I can't remember. That sounds it's really good. good. I love it. And there's a strawberry one that I absolutely love. And then there's a tropical one that I want to try. I don't think there's anybody out that does not like strawberry vape. If you don't like strawberry vape, I think there's something wrong with you. <laughs> I agree. Because I mean, that's our mother's milk was like the first, you know, main, you know, big name juice that came out. Everybody was off the, off the strawberry milk. You know, everybody wanted the strawberry well. I guess it was like a strawberry cream milkshake or whatever it was. But, you know, that was what mother's milk was. And that was like the biggest thing at one point. So, you know, if you don't like strawberry, it's like, what's <laughs> yeah. wrong with you? <laughs> Which I guess to, there has to be people out there that doesn't, don't like strawberry just in general and they wouldn't like a strawberry vapes. But I don't or know. Or if they're I'm allergic not. to strawberry, I can understand it. Oh, that would suck so bad to be allergic to strawberry. These strawberries are delicious. I know. They're my favorite. So everyone has a story of how they were introduced to vaping. How did you find out about vaping? I found out about vaping with the blue sticks when those first came out that you could get at the gas stations and smoke shops. Started on those. That didn't work out so well because those things suck. And then I went to the Ego stick pen thing with the disposable tanks. Was a dual user with that. Ended up getting sick because I didn't know you couldn't use both at the same time. And then was outside smoking a cigarette five months ago and decided this tastes like shit because halfway through the cigarette, the flavor changed and it made me sick to my stomach. And I came in and looked at my old man. I'm, I want to vape. I'm done. And it proceeded from there. So you've been a full-time vapor for about five months now? Yes, almost six. That's excellent. That is very excellent. I mean, people don't understand it. It's just once you get that, you know, once you just start going full blown vaping, it just will change everything in your entire life. Everything in your life will change. Yes. Smoking is never an easy addiction to overcome. But as we know, vaping makes that transition a lot easier. What would you say was the hardest thing for you to overcome when you were making the switch from smoking to vape? My morning coffee. That was the hardest thing. That was my Every day routine, I'd get up, get me a cup of coffee, go outside, sit on the porch, and drink my coffee and smoke two or three cigarettes with a cup of coffee. And vaping was a hard transition to do in the morning with my coffee. It was uh, the sweetness in the vape and then the coffee. It took a lot of getting used to, and that was the hardest thing for me. I can see that being, uh, especially because if you was used to going outside that fresh air, getting that first fresh air kick mm -hmm. in the morning, and then you can vape in the house, because, you know, I smoked in the house. When I smoked, I was I was terrible. I was a bad parent. I was a bad person. I didn't smoke. I didn't give a shit. I was like, I'm smoking. Uh, leave me alone. But, you know, I could just, you know, imagine just getting up, going outside, got you a nice, fresh cup of coffee, and just sitting there, and then now you don't have to go outside no more. You know, you yeah. can be in the house. So, and that's the crazy thing. You know, I hear, so, I hear that from so many people. You know, I went out, you know, I didn't smoke in the house. You know, and... Now I can vape in the house and it's just such this big, you know, like, oh, I'm not used to this. You know, it mm -hmm. throws you all out of whack. <laughs> so real quick, I want you to think back to the moment that you realized that you were no longer a smoker. How did you feel at that moment? <laughs> I, me and the fiance and the kids were going to the store and 
had my vape sitting in the cup holder and I was digging through my purse and we're stopped at a stoplight. And as I'm digging through my purse, I look up and the car in front of us, I could see that they were vaping. And I look over at my fiance and I smacked him in the arm. I'm like, oh my God, I'm not a smoker anymore. He's like, duh. I'm like, but I'm not a smoker anymore. <laughs> and got all sorts of excited and I felt bad because I slapped him to get his attention, but I thought it was funny. He still picks on me to this day about it. That's like, you know, you, you just get the moments. And, you know, I tell people all the time, my, my situation was, I just didn't ever get that moment because I, the, the very first day I started vaping was the last day I smoked a cigarette. So it was like, it all happened so fast that I didn't get that moment. So when I hear other people talk about their very first moment, it inspires me so much because it's like, oh, I wish I would've got that moment. Because it was just like, I quit smoking, I started vaping all in the same day. And then it was just, it, that's just how it was. It was never like a realization. I'm not a smoker no more. You know, I, I you know I just did it all at one time. It just happened so fast. And then it was like years later that it was like, I haven't smoked a cigarette in like two years. Holy crap, man, that's like amazing, you know? But I never got that, you know, that, that, just that moment. So I love hearing about other people's moments. I mean, that's just one of the reasons that I came up with that question. Cause I was like, I want to know what other people felt when they realized it. Cause I didn't really get that feeling. You know, now, now that you're, you know, you're a vape. And we know that vaping saves us from all that, you know, the smoke related crap, you know, cancer and all that other stuff. But vaping, I've noticed, you know, and I know that other people noticed that vaping has changed you as a person, you know, just your overall outlook on things and how your life is. How has vaping changed you as a person? It's pushed me to want to continue helping people more because I'm already a big hearted person and love helping others, but this makes it even more so because I know the benefits of it. I mean, it's not like a miracle cure-all or anything and everybody's reactions to it are gonna be different, but it's helped me regulate my blood sugars. Being hypoglycemic, I don't have to check my sugars near as often. I eat more and I'm putting weight back on to a healthy weight and I'm loving every minute of it. And it's helped me get my dad to wanna to start vaping that's and excellent. that's a big thing because he's a 62 year old NAM vet. They're stuck in their ways and at his age. But he wants yeah. to vape now because of me. Yeah, that's excellent. Now, also, everybody, Kiki does have a YouTube channel. Definitely go check out her YouTube channel. Give her some love because that's a, that, you know, that's a wonderful way to spread the word and help as many people as you possibly can. And, you know, jump making that jump just into YouTube is a, is a giant step you know, to helping people. So I commend you on that. I mean, that's definitely an excellent thing. If there was one piece of advice that you could give somebody that was thinking about making the switch from smoking to vaping, what would that piece of advice be? Talk to people, go to your local vape shops, talk with all of them, do your research on the juice, the products, everything. Watch YouTube reviewers. Help, hit me up on Instagram. Message me there. I will give you my phone number and we can talk and I'll help to talk you through the process because having a good moral support is a big thing. Find others who vape. Talk to others who vape. It'll help. Do all the research you can because knowledge is key with this. You know, that's one of the things that I, I push so much for, you know, teaching people about propaganda because, you know, propaganda is just so terrible. I mean, it just hurts so much. Sorry, my cat. <laughs> it's okay. If there wasn't problems, then, you know, we wouldn't all be doing this. <laughs> yeah. Now, just, to, with just having problems now, <laughs> we know that there's nothing in this world that's perfect. Every person, product, industry has problems. If there is any problem that you could change in the, va or that you think about that you could change in the vaping industry, what would that change be? The quantity over quality for a lot of products. There's so many places that are mass producing things that they don't take the quality into consideration. And then the random feuds between other vapors and vape shops, we're one community. We should just all get along and help one another. There shouldn't be any battle between us. So the disarray of fellow vapors and the mass production of product 
You know, it's sad when we think about it. I mean, the community is great, don't get me wrong. I mean, 99% of the time you can go on any of the social media platforms and if you need help, you can find help. But there's always a few people mm -hmm. that want to come out and they want to be trolls and they want to talk stuff. And, you know, it, it, it's just terrible that that, that, that happens. And I'm, a lot of it has to do with because so many products are mass produced. So everybody's trying to be the next big thing, you know, they're trying to get the next best thing. Well, I got this and you don't. Or yeah. the old, you know, clone versus, you know, authentic stuff or high end versus low end. I mean, it just causes so many problems. It's just like, dude, they all do the exact same thing. I don't care what mod you have. It heats up and it causes the juice to va evaporate and, and then we inhale it. That's it. No matter yeah. what, no matter what mod you have. My personal opinion is I think the worst thing that's going on is, you know, these you know the teens and these pod things and how vaping is being generalized because some teens are using a jewel you know and they could be smoking cigarettes you know it could be a lot worse i don't condone underage vaping or underage smoking but at least they're choosing a healthier alternative i mean so yeah it's not good that they're doing it but at the same time they're not hurting themselves like they would be if they were picking up a cigarette my biggest fear is you know that if what will happen if vaping does go away. You know, somebody like us, we could deal with it. We've smoked, now we have converted to vaping. Vaping is a hell of a lot easier to not do than smoking is because you don't have all the additives. Mm -hmm. My biggest fear is that if the FDA does basically get rid of vaping, that all these teens that are, or yeah, all these teens that are vaping are gonna go to cigarettes. And that's my biggest fear. Mine too. I, I would hate to see that happen. That would be devastating because, you know, right now, they, I think I just read an article, what was it yesterday, day before yesterday? They're like, teen smoking is at the all time lowest it's ever been since, like, ever. You know? Yeah. It, it, there's never been a time that teen smoking has been this low. And if they get rid of vaping, what's going to happen? What happens yeah. to all these teens that started vaping? And then what? Well, what do they do? Course well, not just the teens, but everybody else. I mean, look at these people that are in their 60s, 70s, and 80s that went from vaping or from smoking to vaping. I mean, they've added life to themselves because they quit cigarettes. What are, what's the older generation going to do? What are we going to do? I mean, it's only going to cause more harm than it would good if they got rid of it. And that's the honest to God truth right there, because there's there's no way that you, they can get around that. I mean, they're millions and millions of people have quit smoking because of it and mm -hmm. there's so many changes that is being made and we are like at the like the the forefront of these changes if we could just get everybody to be on the same side vapors including politicians and everybody we i mean we're at a, a tipping point where we can actually change the entire world yeah for the best so i mean i i see a lot of things that can definitely happen in the near future if everybody gets on the right page just stop putting out crappy products and every all the vape community start working together and being together so yeah. that is definitely some great changes that, that i would like to change too as well as you <laughs> <laughs> well before we end the show why don't you tell everybody where they can find you anything and any projects that you might be working on within within the near future um youtube and Instagram are the two places that you can find me. I'm active on both pages. Instagram, go ahead, send me a message. If you need help with vaping, I'm more than happy to help you. YouTube, look forward to more juice reviews. Um, I'm going to be doing a product review on a couple new mods that I, well, uh, one new mod that I got and one that I've had for a little bit because I wanted to wait and see if I still liked it before I just review it out there. Okay. So yeah, YouTube and Instagram under Kiki Vapes on both pages. Okay, okay. And I will put a link to the, in the description below to all your platforms or everywhere you're at. That way it's easier for people to watch this can get to you. Well, thank you, Kiki, very much for being on the show. I really do appreciate it. And I hope that maybe one day that we can redo, we can do this again in the, in the future and catch up a little bit and let everybody know what's going on and you know, all the different stuff that you got going on and helping all the vacant. I would be happy to do that. All righty. All right, guys. You guys have a great week. 
Thanks for watching. Peace. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you would like to be a guest on the show, just message me on one of my social media links in the description or leave a comment below. And remember, vaping saved your life, so help vaping save more lives. Spread the truth and be a voice for vaping. <laughs>